Hi, why are you lurking out here? Did, did Riva tell you? Yeah, yeah, I know, she found something. Uh, she doesn't know that we're having this conversation, so can we just keep this strictly between us? Are you telling me you got the results? Yeah, it's, it's not cancer. Oh, that tumor was benign, huh? That tumor was a baby. What? Reba's pregnant, Lillian. Pregnant? <laughs> You're supposed to have a better poker face than that. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... I guess I don't need to tell you how something like that happened. No. But you need to tell me what the risks are. The risks, yeah. Well, um, I think that's something you better discuss with her doctor. Well, I already did. You know, he told me in doctor language. Well, I'm a nurse. I speak the same language. You're also Reba's friend. And yours. Okay, um, when you're recovering from cancer, you're not supposed to get pregnant for three to four years. But it hasn't been that long. So if she has this baby... Oh, no, I know, but the cancer can always come back. I mean, survivors live with that all the time. The odds do get better the longer you're in remission. But if you throw a baby into the mix... Reva has always beaten the odds. You know that. What are the odds? Well, chemo damages the body. I mean, the heart, the kidneys, the liver, and being pregnant doubles the workload. So I can't be more specific about her case. You have to go see her doctor with Reva. Okay, so, I mean, like I said, we, we didn't have this conversation, of course, okay? Of course we didn't. I, I understand, and she's lucky to have you. Well, I do tell her that all the time. <laughs> of course you do. So you should go be with her. Reva will be fine. Will she? You and Reva? That's what the doctor said. A baby, right? Yeah. You and Reva. Do I need to explain the biology to you? No, no, I just, I'm... Just, I... Isn't it a little early to be spreading the word about this? She's three months along. That's pregnant. You don't seem too happy about this. Well, you know, I don't know how I'm supposed to seem, Buzz. It's just that... I do know that this... This thing, it's... It's gonna create some serious health problems for Reva. Do you even want this, babe? I never thought I was ever going to be a parent. I mean, that wasn't on my radar. But whenever I look at Ava now and she looks back at me, it's... it's hard to there ain't nothing like it. Nothing. But... Buzz, this is... This is Reva's life that we're talking about here. I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize that just because I didn't get a chance to raise my, my daughter. But Reva, you know, she's something else. She's like, and if having this baby means losing Reva, Buzz, I choose Reva. spent my morning. No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. I was in the basement looking at pictures of Mara and Shane. And you know what was the most common thread as I looked at those pictures? I wasn't in any of them. Because I've never gotten to raise a single one of my children from start to finish. Not Dylan, not Mara, not Shane, and not Jonathan. So don't I deserve a chance to do that at least once? Well, sweetie, this isn't about what you deserve. This is about your life. It's a gift, Billy. It may even be a miracle. Because the last person that should be pregnant is me. But yet, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> How does um, Jeff feel? Well, we're, we're still talking it through. Uh, you mean you're still trying to talk me into it? No. No, no, not yet. It's just that we've both been really busy. And... 
talking about the weather because you're really afraid that he's going to say all the things that you do not want to hear. It's his baby, too. Yeah, I know, but what about if your cancer comes back and you have this baby? What about if you leave Jeffrey alone to raise the baby by himself? I mean, you thought about that? That's a big thing to heap on anybody, especially Jeffrey. How do you think he's going to cope with it? Billy, but I really have to finish packing. Okay, well, that means Billy shut up and Billy leave, and Billy will shut up and leave. You call me if if you need me, okay? Because but do I really say these things to you because I'm crazy about you, okay? Ah, oh, bathing suit. I knew I'd forget something. Why bother? You know, it's really hard packing for a trip. It's a lot of work. Or maybe it's... Maybe it's too much work, huh? Well, you know, do you want to wait until after we find out what, what's going on? Okay. Oh, well, yeah, why not? You know, we have our whole lives to plan a honeymoon. <laughs> Unless... No, no, it's, it's, a, it's a good idea. It is. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be in Siberia if something went wrong. Something could go wrong. Yeah, it could. It could go wrong today. It could go wrong next week. It could go wrong in four months from now. It could... Something could go wrong even after. A lot to consider. Yeah, but everything could be fine, too. You feel fine, right? Yeah, I feel great. Okay, good. But, you know, my, my cancer could come back. And, and if it does, then you're going to be looking at changing a whole lot of diapers all by yourself. You're right. <sighs> About what? Well, it might be too much of a risk for us to take right now. Eva, who knows it, if having a, a kid is really what we should be doing with our lives right now anyway. Yeah, I, you know, I agree. I mean, it's not like we planned it or even really wanted it or talked about it. Things are great the way they are. Absolutely, absolutely perfect. So it'd be a shame to ruin all of that. Yeah. But it'd also be a shame not to see what kind of kid we'd have. Are you kidding? We would have a great <laughs> we would. kid. We would, wouldn't we? Smart. So smart. Smart as a whip. Yes. Ivy Leaguer, for sure. Yeah, nothing less for our kid. <laughs> 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 that would be in about 22 years. 22 years. Yeah, it's a, right. It's a long way away. Uh, and, you know, uh, paying for an Ivy League education would pretty much guarantee that I would stay in the workforce for a long time. Yeah, no early retirement for you. <laughs> no trips around the world. Yeah, I mean, kids are great, but they're, you know, they tie you down, especially when they're little. Apparently, that just continues right through college. Oh, let me tell you graduation. something, Cal. It doesn't end there. <laughs> okay. So, um, are we uh, cooking tonight or ordering it? Uh, let's, let's order in. I'm feeling kind of lazy. Okay, I got some paperwork to take okay. care of anyway. What do you want, pizza or Chinese company? You decide. No. We're going to decide this together. 